These are the components required for this project. I'm going to use a breadboard, LED, PC547 transistor, LDR, 1 kilo ohm resistor, 330 ohm resistor, some jumper wires, and I'm gonna power the circuit with 5 volts. Let's do it. Let's begin by connecting the BC547 transistor to the breadboard and let's ground the emitter. So I'm gonna connect the emitter of the transistor to ground. Let's grab our light dependent transistor and connect it to the base of the transistor and to a blank spot on the breadboard and connect the other end of the LDR to the positive rail of the breadboard. Here is my 1 kilo ohm resistor. I'm gonna connect it to the base of the transistor and to ground. The yellow LED. I'm gonna connect the cathode of the LED, shorter pin, to the collector of the transistor. And I'm gonna connect the anode of the LED to positive rail of a breadboard via my 330 ohm resistor. This resistor is going to limit the current across the LED. Finally, let's connect the power supply to the breadboard. I have 5 volts coming to the circuit and as you can see the LED turns on. So here is the explanation. The LDR's resistance changes with the light intensity. So light dependent resistor works in two modes. One of them is dark mode and another one is light mode. In dark mode, the LDR's resistance is going to be very high and in light mode, the resistance is going to be decreased. When the resistance is going to be decreased, then current can flow through the base of the transistor, which is right now the case. And when the current flows through the base of the transistor, the, trans the transistor will be on. In this case, there is, going to, there is also going to be a path for the current flow from collector emitter junction of the transistor. And since our LED is connected to the collector of the transistor, the LED turns on. If I put my finger on the LDR, we will switch to dark mode and in that case, the LED will be off since the LDR's resistance is too much and current cannot flow easily through the transistor. So let's turn off the light, turn off the surrounding light and as you can see, the LED remains off. Let's grab our flashlight and let's try to turn on the LED again so if light falls upon the LDR this LED must turn on if I bring it too close then the LED will be turned on and if I move it further away as you can see the LED will be slowly off I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed it, please give me a like and do not forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Thanks and have a good day.